yo, yo. Monkey F Coconut here. Just playing around with some Cyber Cube. Took a um, Pentagon and I kind of added more Pentagons to him. And I just kept adding Pentagons and created this kind of interesting coral shape, I'm going to call it. If I had a whole bunch of these, I might be able to, you know, build a ball, um, like a soccer ball, using pentagons and uh, hexagons. I'm not sure how it would quite turn out, but so that's that's kind of interesting. Not really what I wanted to show you. Uh, we're going to actually build something, which will be interesting. Um, my little marketing tool here. Uh, I was working on over the last couple days putting that together. Just a little electronic gizmo called the Arduino. It's a little uh, open source microcontroller. Um, but basically, just put together a little, a little bit of uh, text and graphics. Got the CyberCube logo on there. get started with uh, this other thing that I'm talking about. So what you're going to want to do is start start a line and start wrapping it basically around your finger to the point where it's just a little bit snug on your knuckle. That's important. You'll see why. Um, you want it interlinked and it should just go right together. You'll have to experiment with the exact um, number of these, but um, just get a, a good section of your finger worth. Try to visually divide it and basically separate it kind of in the center there. Let these halves just kind of fall together, and then we're going to kind of rotate this guy such that this ball and this ball are opposite. If you've got some extra, get rid of it. You can kind of turn these until they uh, match up, like I just did, if you have the right number, and it'll link across. So what we have here is a continuous loop, but it's only sort of an illusion, because it's just, it's just on the top here that that loop is continuous forming a figure eight although it is just an illusion uh... But a very cool one so this thing's pretty neat if you build this guy um, he will rotate it's almost like a gear um, but what's really neat about it is if you get it so that it kinda latches onto your knuckle you can um, see maybe I'm doing it the wrong way here uh, there we go now it's nice and tight this is what I like to call the finger ratchet build it I think you'll like it pretty sweet. Alright, let's build something kind of fun. Basically the other day I uh, created something randomly. Those are always the best, aren't they? Uh, it was essentially a tree, but I made it more interesting. I want to start with some hexagons or maybe they were pentagons yeah, I think they were pentagons four per side so you got one two three four one two three four pentagon in the middle three layers build eight of these Oh, 
Okay, so four of these. Alright, now that we have eight of these uh, pentagons and we've joined them together, now we're going to assemble these together in sort of a tree-like shape. Now we need to make the base. Make an octagon. Um, but interlink it so that it's strong. And we don't want to use up too much of our line because we have some other things to build. You can always make the tree taller later. Well, let's see here. Okay, he's interlinked. That's what we want. Okay, so you got a nice little, I don't know, some kind of palm tree, right? Maybe. But, what if, what if cubes could grow on trees? Alright, build two 3x3s three and come back. Another 3x3. Three three. Now, the fun part. Alright, I'm back. We want to make this tree a little bit longer, so... Let's add some spheres to the bottom here. Alright, so, yeah, back to the dangly bits. We want to add something to hold our 3x3s. And you kind of want them to want to push out so they can hold some weight. Now the fun part. If we can get a cube to stick gently he won't explode then. Okay. All right, there's one. Very delicate. And going for two. Whoa. That's very difficult. A lot of times the force of the cube attaching just makes the three by three that's very unstable already just explode. So there you have it. Cubes do grow on trees. Pretty sweet, huh? I like it. Hope you like it too. And if you like that, go to the CyberCube and get your own. CyberCube.com That's where all the fun stuff's at. They by far have the best product out there from what I've researched. These are the 6 millimeter balls uh, from the 6x6 six six cubes. I think they're pretty cool. The, the smaller 4 millimeter balls are quite tiny. Um, I think it's just fun to manipulate something that's a little bit bigger, especially if you have big hands. So go to the cybercube.com.